Hello everybody, this is Zax through 99 another new game on Steam. This one isn't brand brand new, it came out a whole three days ago. Uh, but this is called Planktos, and the only reason I'm doing a review now is because I was looking at some of the new games that have come out, and nobody yet has a review of this game up uh, yet on Steam. So you know me, my job to take a look at these unheard of, unpopular indie games and give you my two cents on if I think they're worth your money or not. The price tag on this one is $4.99 in American currency. Something about you're trying to release elders in the ocean uh, or something. Doesn't give a whole lot of description on what you're actually doing, but the graphics look pretty nice, uh, especially for a $5 game. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised that nobody else has actually bought this game, or if they bought it, they haven't even put a review up on Steam. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check out Planktos right here, right after this. All right, welcome back, everybody, to my first play of Plankto. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, right off the bat, I don't like something. And if you guys have watched any of my game reviews, you already probably know what that is. There's not anywhere where there's an options. So I can't go in and change my resolution. Like I, it started, uh, the game booted up in like a resolution that didn't fit my monitor. I had to just blow it up and expand it to fit my monitor. But I have no settings for you know shadows or anything uh resolution sound music nothing uh, i don't like that i like you know you having the ability to go in and change the settings the graphic settings the sound settings everything uh so that it fits your computer uh, we don't have that here and i'm sure you can change everything if you go into the you know the steam folder and you go in and you, you look at the initiative uh file or whatever inside and you change the settings there but that's really inconvenient. I like it when the games have uh, the ability to, you know, at least change the resolution and turn the sound on and off at bare minimum. So we don't have that. So that's a negative before we even start the game. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a new game here. And again, I haven't played this game at all, so I have no idea what we're doing. So. Like ghosts. Well, it looks like it crashed. Well, that's not a good thing either. Maybe it's loading. Come on, Planktos. And that's the thing. I mean, if it's loading, it needs to show me a bar or something. Okay, there we go. So the loading screen needs to show you a bar of completion or something like that, so you're not sitting there wondering if the game's crashed. I mean... So already, we already got two little strikes against it. All right, so what are we doing here? Okay, we have bubbles, and we... I guess that's going to be us. And we are, looks like a little jellyfish type thing. Here, you can see my brain inside. What the heck? Alright, so... It doesn't show me my controls. It doesn't show me anything. So I'm just guessing here at what buttons do what. Let's go ahead and hit escape and see if we can figure that out. Fish information. Again, I click fish information and again, I'm waiting here. What am I waiting for? Show me a loading screen or something, game. Come on, developer. This is annoying. Now I don't even have my cursor. I'm just sitting here waiting. My computer is not the most modern computer in the world, but I don't even think that even the fastest computer on earth would instantaneously go to whatever it's doing. Okay, so, okay, so I don't even have a cursor. Okay, so I gotta use the arrow keys. I can't use the mouse. Okay. I'm sitting there waiting on nothing. Fish information. Triggerfish. The triggerfish has an overly developed and very strong set of teeth. They can be used to crack shells and protective coverings of many other sea creatures. One creature that is a favorite of the triggerfish is the sea urchin. And a triggerfish can easily break the sea urchin's spines with their large teeth. Lightfish uh, has developed glands that glow with a bright uh, bioluminescence. The illumination is bright enough to light up a large area around its body. These light glands allow the light fish to explore dark, cavernous areas. Clownfish, brightly colored. 
Okay, so we got uh there's no more than that. So the woohoo fish, long body that allows them to cut through the water with ease. Sleek bodies, uh, body strength allows them to swim against powerful currents. And again, the clownfish is uh, able to resist the stinging effect from jellyfish and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, escape is going to be back, looks like. But I want to see what keys do what. Okay, so this is obviously for a controller. Q and E are float up and down, respectively. Uh, charge energy or Wahoo Sprint. Only if you're the Wahoo Fish. Is going to be the left mouse button. Charge energy. And then the right mouse button is tether to crystal. What the hell does that mean? Tether to crystal. Right, right mouse button. Move around is the mouse. Possess and unpossess is R. Wow, okay. You can possess fish, evidently. Uh, options. Enter, WSD to move uh, around, and escape. Okay, so i got to remember uh, Q and E to float up and down. Left mouse button is charge energy. Right mouse button is tether to crystal. I guess we'll figure out what that means. Look around, and then R is possess and unpossess. All right. So Q, up, down. Love the eyes there. It looks like I'm a jellyfish. Okay, so can I go all the way to the surface or probably not? Nope. Now it's just looking weird. Now I keep hitting Q. I'm continuing to hit Q. I guess I'm just zooming the camera closer to me. All right. Move my mouse here. All right. Let's go ahead and hit E a minute until... So if you do Q too much, it kind of zooms the camera in too much and screws you up. Can I? There we go. Now I can see myself again. All right. I mean, the graphics are pretty nice, in all honesty. Use the mouse to kind of steer where you're looking. Okay. Like the schools of fish flying around. All right. What's this crap going on over here? That colored fish. Is it going to get me? Is it an enemy? It's all glowy and stuff, leaving the purple stripe behind it. Okay, we got some weird crap going on over here. I like the fish. I mean, the fish are kind of swimming around realistically in a school, and they kind of look good. All right, and cue a little bit here. All right, what are we doing here? Okay, this is where that crystal is, probably. Tether to crystal was right mouse button. Tether to crystal. And it says RM right there. Left trigger or right mouse button. Okay, left mouse button is cleanse. Okay, what am I doing here? Left mouse button. Okay, do I drag this up here to this red thing? What am I doing? Q. Q. Am I trying to attach this here like a spider web, or what am I doing? I don't know. Tether to crystal. Alright. I think a little tutorial in this game would be nice. Okay, where is my thing at again? I don't know if that fish is that fish up there, the orange and light blue fish that's leaving a purple trail behind it. I don't know if that's an enemy and he's going to eat me or what. All right. Right mouse button. Now it says left mouse button to cleanse. Okay. I'm cleansing. Whoa. What the hell? Oh. Okay, so I gotta hit right mouse button and then my left mouse button to cleanse or something. And now I got a ray coming from. Okay, what's the point of that? This gets, this game's freaking weird. I can tell you that right now. I mean, I, I, I like the graphics well enough. The graphics are just a, in a, the developer, to the developer. If you're gonna make a game this freaking weird, I mean, this is certainly not something normal like most people play. This is definitely different than your normal kind of game. If you're going to make a game that is this abstract uh, with this novel of an idea, you need to have some kind of an explanation or tutorial on what the hell we're doing, why we're here, what the objective is, and why we're tethering crystals to a red crystal. I mean, this makes no sense at all. 
I mean, it might be a fun game, but to come in here without a purpose or a reason or knowing what the hell we're doing is pretty weird. Okay, so now I guess I gotta cleanse myself again and it'll somehow connect a laser light. I'm guessing. Okay, now my red bar is going up. There, I'm seeing a red light. Yep, there we go. So I let go of both buttons. So what I'm doing here, guys, just so you know, it's I'm, I'm having to figure this out all by myself. And I'm coming up here, I'm hitting the right mouse button. As you can see, the top bar shows nothing now. I don't know what that means. But I hold down the right mouse button. You see that little beam. And then it'll come up and it'll say the left mouse button to cleanse. So I'm holding the right mouse button down. And then I also hold down the left mouse button while I'm holding down the right mouse button. So I'm holding both mouse buttons down now. And let go and I should see a beam. No. Okay, and I'm guessing that is because I have nothing in my bar up there. So is this more power or whatever I need for that bar up there? Right mouse button. Recharge, left mouse button. Okay, so now again I'm holding both mouse buttons down. You see my bar filling up. And I've drained whatever that source is from of its power, it looks like. So now that I have half a bar when I come to this thing, can I do it? Right mouse button. And now my left mouse button to cleanse. Yep, you need some you need some yellow stuff. Whatever the stuff is. And then once I see that bright white light, I let go of both mouse buttons. And I get my bar. But now as you can see, I need more energy or whatever. So I'm gonna suck the energy out of this little thing. I'm holding down my right mouse button. You see the little light. And then you see the recharge there telling me to hit my left mouse button. So I'll left mouse button. Same, I'm holding both mouse buttons down now. And then I've drained that thing of its energy. Okay. This is definitely a uh, different game, that's for sure. So now I have power up there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing again. Right mouse button so I see the beam. And left mouse button when I see that cleanse there. I'm holding down both mouse buttons now. Wait till I see the bright white light. And then I just let go of both mouse buttons. Freak. Now I need to find something to suck some energy out of. Here we go. Use this thing again. It keeps growing on energy. Alright. Suck it all up. Alright. Now. I mean, it, the laser lights and stuff like that, I mean, it's pretty to look at and everything. So, what's going to happen when I get this last one? This looks like the last one here. Okay. Same thing. Right mouse button. See the light. Left mouse button because I see the cleanse there. Word. Hold them both down until I see me puff out with white smoke or whatever. White lights. And then let go of both mouse buttons. Whoops. Alright. Shatter that thing. Ooh! We got a, uh, we got a cool little deal. Is that an elder? Okay, now it's showing, it's filling up my bar for me, full of power. And I see a, uh, I see a fish and I saw a little icon telling me I had to do something to the fish. Was that possess? I saw that key for possess. And see, I wouldn't know what to do if I, oh, there's that, fi there's that fish. Can I possess him? Come up here and hit R? Nope, R doesn't work. Oh, right mouse button. I gotta connect to him. And then R. R. Left mouse button cleanse. Okay, I gotta cleanse him, I guess. I cleanse myself or something. And then can I hit R? What am I doing? This is so weird. R. R. Oh, I just let go of the mouse buttons. Now R is possess. It says R for possess. I just gotta get closer, maybe. I'm guessing. I don't know. I have no idea. R. R. Okay, I had to I had to connect to him with the right mouse button beam. Now I'm the fish. This is a weird, weird freaking game. And like I say, if the developer is going to make a game this abstract or this weird, uh, a tutorial would be nice. At least an idea of what the hell you're doing when you start the game. But I love the schools of fish. I mean, look at the schools of fish, you know, swimming by. That's really cool. Okay, so what am I doing now? I can't, I don't think I can eat fish or anything. I have a full bar, so I don't know why I would need to suck up this. I can't even do that as a fish. 
Okay. What am I doing now? I don't know. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that shadow from? Something's up there. Oh, that's that one thing that I released. The Elder or whatever. Okay. So come up here. Oh, it, it swam away from me. Come here, you little bastard. Oh, there you are. You're so pretty. I want you. Come here. I want to mate with you. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come here. Oh, it left. Now I got more purple fish like me. Down here. Can I, uh... Okay, I need to go down. Wait a minute. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch these guys either. Right mouse button doesn't do a beam or anything now that I'm a fish. So maybe I'm just looking for... What am I looking for? Oh, can I go up in here? Come on. Q. Oh, cool. Got a little tunnel here. Damn, it's dark. Okay, it won't let me go forward anymore. So wherever I'm trying to go, I can't go. Okay, so I need to turn around, I guess. Damn, I wanted to explore that little cave. All right. Back out, if I can find my way in the dark here. What's going on now? That was a little movie. Okay, it happened automatically. Okay, so it's telling me to come through this crap. All right. Oh, I not I got another one of these set of crystal things. Okay. Do I need to unpossess this thing, or can I do it like this? Yeah, I'm gonna need to unpossess this, huh? Oh no, maybe not. I don't see my beam of light though with this guy. Left mouse button. Okay. So I don't need to turn back into that thing, that jellyfish thing. I can just come over here and hold down the left mouse button and connect the beams. That's interesting. I thought I'd have to turn back into that jellyfish thing. Because it said R was possessed and unpossessed. And I'm not even having to use my uh, my energy now like this. I just come and left click, hold it down for a few seconds, and it connects it. This is weird. I mean, how would you know what to do? in this game. How would anybody know it? I honestly think that most people that play this game are probably going to get frustrated at not knowing what to do or what you know what they're try what the purpose of the game is. Like what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why am I connecting these things? I guess it's to release these uh, I guess that's the elders. The description on the store page said uh, you're underwater releasing elders. And I assume that's what I just did there. Can I do anything with this? No. Left, hold down left mouse button for a minute. No, nope, nothing. All right, so now am I looking for the elder? Do I want to follow it or what? Well, that's another one on fish. It's pretty. I don't know what I'm doing though. Where am I going now? Oh, there it is. There's the elder. Come here, elder. Come here, buddy. Yeah, but I guess I, you have to follow it once you release them. Okay, where'd you go, buddy? Okay, it's, it's notice it's kind of stopping, so it's like it's waiting for me. Yeah. Okay, so now I should see my next area, I assume. Now should I go through this tunnel? Now I can kind of... No, I was going to say I can see a little better, but maybe not. Oh, I thought the, I thought the elder was showing me this tunnel. What if I unpossess? What if I... There we go. I unpossess that fish. Now can I go through here? No, I cannot. Okay. Sorry, people. I, I Like I say, this is what happens when you have somebody playing a game their first time and the game has no, you know, no instructions or even tutorial on what the frick you're doing. Okay, I just went through there, did I not? Okay, I came from that direction, I think. I've already went in there. Yeah, you can see the... Right? Or maybe I haven't been in here yet. I probably have to be a fish before I can go through there. Let me, uh... Is that the area I was already at? No, I don't think so. 
Alright, so I gotta go possess another stupid fish. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. I gotta... There we go. R. R. Okay, I gotta hold down my left mouse button. Come here, buddy. Wait till the bright lights come on, and then hit R. There we go. And now... No. Freaking hell. I don't know what I'm doing. I forgot what I did to possess this dumb thing. R. R. Uh, I'm holding down both mouse buttons. What am I doing here? R. R. Hmm. I don't know. I thought I possessed him last time by releasing the mouse buttons. Maybe I have to suck up more energy. Where's one of those things to suck up energy from? Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's one. Come here. Come here, I need the energy from you, you little ball of light. Q. You suck up the energy with both mouse buttons. Now I got energy. Now can I possess a stupid fish? Can I possess you? Nope, evidently not. You guys are pretty though. Okay, I can possess these ones with a purple light. Come here. Wait till I turn light and release. R. R. Freaking hell. R. R. R is not working. Alright, this game is getting frustrating now. R. Is that that bitch? R. There we go. There we go. I just had to be close. Alright, so now I should be able to, as a fish, I should be able to swim through this crop. I'm guessing. Yes. And. Okay, yeah, this is the bubble I already did. That's why there's a bubble over it. Or do I need to unpossess myself? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I think this is the one I've already done. So, what am I doing now? Where do I go? Alright. Huh. I don't know, dude. I don't freaking know what I'm supposed to do. Come back through here. I mean, it's cool to be able to swim around as a fish. Okay, I've already done this thing. There's a bubble over that, so I'm good there. And this is where I started from. What's all the bright lights over here for? Okay, that's where I started from. There's no use going back to where I started from. Seems, seems like a dumb idea. Come on, fishy. I can't go up over this thing, can I? To look for new areas? Nope. Okay, what's that blue light there for? Oh, that's the tunnel. Well, I only see one other place to go besides where I've already been, and that's through this tunnel, and it won't let me go any further. Uh... Yeah, I can't go any further. It won't let me push through that. Well, piece of crap. It's kind of frustrating that I don't know where to go. I mean... Huh. Q. Can I go up and over here? I doubt it. I doubt it. Nope. That's not working. E... You know, it's got to be through here somewhere. It's got to be. I got to be doing something in here to. Or I'm missing a passageway or something. And I don't see it. Am I supposed to do something with this guy? Well, I don't know. 
All right, guys, I, I, I'm going to have to give up on this game because I don't know what the point is right now. Uh, you know, I, I, I can't really can't rate this game because I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing or where I go from here. Uh, so you got that. I'm sure that if, you, if I play around with it enough or if you buy the game, maybe you can figure it out. But honestly, I don't have any desire to continue playing a game where I don't see the purpose of what I'm doing. Um, it's not really that challenging. The challenge in this game is trying to figure out what the hell you're doing and why. Uh, I don't see, like, it's, there's no other fish trying to eat me or anything. Uh, the graphics are pretty enough. I mean, for a $5 game, this is a nice-looking game. So I have no complaints there. But not really uh, not really understanding uh, my point in the game here at this point or where I go from here. So, uh, you know, I, I don't even know how to rate this game or if I want to recommend it or not, to be honest with you. Uh, so... At this point, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave this game as it is and let you guys make your own decision on if you want to go out and spend $5 on the game. Uh, Graphic-wise and everything like that, uh, you know, I think it's worth it. Uh, but uh, it's a little bit frustrating if you don't know what to do or why you're doing it, to be honest with you. So, anyway, I uh, want to go thank you guys for watching. Be sure you leave your comments down below if you guys want me to see, if you guys think maybe you figured it out and you want to tell me what I should do here. Uh, you know, be sure you can input that or let me know if this uh, video has helped you just made, you know, make a decision on whether to buy this game or not to buy the game. Definitely leave that as a comment as well. I'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This has been Zaxter99 uh, with Planktos, uh, new Steam game. So take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.